In this video, I am going to show you how to add a custom mouse cursor to your Elementor website using the premium add-ons for Elementor. This is a new feature that was just released and I thought that you would find it interesting to check it out. With the new mouse cursor option, we can add an image mouse cursor, an image follow mouse cursor, a text follow mouse cursor, even a lotty animation as a mouse cursor. So in case that is something that you are interested in, let's jump straight into the video. Alright, so the premium add-ons for Elementor just released their mouse cursor feature that you can apply to sections, columns, and even the individual widgets in your Elementor website. Alright, now let's dive straight into the dashboard and show you how you can actually add some of these awesome mouse cursors to your Elementor website. Inside your Elementor website, make sure that you have the premium add-ons for Elementor, the free version, and premium add-ons for Elementor, the pro version installed because the mouse cursor widget actually comes in the pro version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. Now once you are done, simply come over here to the premium add-ons for Elementor menu and go straight to the widgets and add-ons. Inside the widgets and add-ons, you'll see a new feature called custom mouse cursor. Make sure that you have it enabled. By enabled, it has to be in green. Alright, once that is done, then you are going to open up any page or section using Elementor. We will start off by adding this kind of mouse cursor to our vertical scroll section. Once you have the mouse cursor enabled, we are going to choose the cursor type as an icon. We are going to choose an icon and we are going to look up for a mouse, which is a pointer. There we are. We are going to increase the size of this cursor to 120 pixels. Now we have our cursor. We are going to change the color for this cursor to a color of our choice. Now we have it in the color of our choice. And we're going to add a border. It's going to be a solid border. It will be 12 pixels. And we apply a border color of our choice as well. And a border radius. Without the border radius, the border for our mouse cursor will be rectangular. So I'll simply just make the border radius 100%. Now we have a circle border just like this on our mouse cursor. You can alter the rotation of the cursor. Let me say if it is 0 degrees, you see it's just a normal cursor. But if I change it to a degree of our choice, let me say 90, that will now change the rotation of our cursor. But I want to make it only 55 degrees. Now when I head over to our preview page, there comes our mouse cursor. And the beauty is that we can use it to navigate through our page. Now let's look into another way on how we can add a custom mouse cursor using a Lottie widget, just like you see over here. Now when I click in our form, I can easily access the form field where I want to type text using our mouse cursor. Alright, back into our Elementor editor. With our section selected, I'm going to come to advance. And once I enable my mouse cursor, you realize that I've already chose to use a Lottie and I added a Lottie file. You can get Lottie files from the lottiefiles.com website. Alright, this over here. So by selecting that Lottie file, you just copy the URL of the Lottie file, come back into your editor, and make sure that you paste that URL just here. We are going to enable that this Lottie file is looped. That means the Lottie file animation will be looped all the time on our website. So it will be blinking just like you see over here. And we also added a background color, which is this color, and it's a little bit transparent. If I make it a little bit darker, that's how it will look like but I want to leave it to be transparent just like this now when we come here and then we check out our preview you see our mouse cursor works pretty well you can just select the form field and we're able to start typing our content in that form field and we can send all right now let's look into how we can use custom images as a mouse cursor as well how we can use custom text or follow text as our mouse cursor just like you see here Back into our editor, we are going to first of all select the section where I want to apply the first mouse cursor. I'll enable the mouse cursor for this section. After enabling the mouse cursor, then I'll choose the type as an image. So in this case, you'll have to choose an image that you want to use as your mouse cursor. You can either upload a custom image or choose from those in your media library. I'll use this image. I'll change the size of this image by either increasing, that will increase the size of your mouse cursor, or 
making it a little bit minimal to around 70. 70 looks fine. I'll add a border and I'll add a groove border. I'll make it 10 pixels and you can as well add the color for your border. And the border radius I'll make it to be 100 percentage. That means that I'll have a rounded border. If I make it zero, that means that I'll have a rectangular border, which I don't want. Right, so I'll make it 100. You can maybe rotate 50% and that's how your mouse cursor will look like. I'll leave it to be zero. Now we have our mouse cursor across all these sections. Maybe you're asking why is this mouse cursor crossing into another section? Because our section is having other inner sections. So this inner section, this as well, this as well. And the mouse cursor is applied to the main section. So that means that our mouse cursor will run through all the other inner sections. Just like you see here. Beautiful. But for the very last section, we are going to add a follow text. And the follow text will be only applied on this telephone number down below here. To do that, I'll make sure that I select my text widget or the heading widget where I want to add the follow mouse cursor text. So with it selected, I'll come to the custom mouse cursor feature, enable it, I'll choose the follow text. Here I'll add the text that I want to appear as a follow text and I'll change these settings to position how that text will appear on the editor or on the page. So for example, over here, the exposition is negative 17. If I change this to 37, now that is aligning a little bit with the text itself. And I can as well make changes to the font faces and everything down below here. You can rotate the text, but that will look very funny. So I want to leave it to zero so that it's basically adding some more attention on this text here. But remember this follow mouse cursor is only added to this heading widget. It's not applied to this widget or to this other widget or even to the column. But in case you want to apply the mouse cursor to only the column, you can as well select that column under advanced mouse cursor, enable the mouse cursor and you're good to go. And don't forget that this mouse cursor will also be visible on mobile and tablet devices, just like you see over right here. And if you want to change the size based on the device, for example, with a mobile device selected, I can change that to maybe a 27. Now you see that we have a smaller mouse cursor. So by reducing the border type, our mouse cursor is now even more visible. So in case you want to make custom changes based on a device, I can confidently say that the premium add-ons for Elementor thought about that as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's how you can add a custom mouse cursor to your Elementor website using the new feature from the premium add-ons for Elementor. In case you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, have a good time and goodbye.